Now, the presidential election is just 20 days away. Lee Jae-myung is continuing to focus on Seoul, which is expected to be the largest battlefield. The ruling party candidate is scheduled to stump around the northern part of the capital city today. On Thursday, Lee Jae-myung started his day in Nowangu district and later moved to Gwanghamun, which is bustling with office workers during lunchtime. There, a public ceremony was held to highlight his determination to keep campaign promises by all means. In the evening, he will likely reach out to younger voters in the Hongdae area with a message about expanding opportunities for those in their 20s and 30s. As he did on Wednesday, the candidate continued to focus on Seoul because he concluded that it would not be easy to win the capital due to public dissatisfaction with the government and the ruling party's real estate policy failures. During campaigning in Tamshil Wednesday evening, he repeatedly promised to increase housing supply. He also stressed the need to revise antivirus strategies in order to minimize damage to small business owners. He promised to introduce a smart COVID-19 control system and provide financial support worth 40 to 50 trillion won to those businesses. In order to do so, he vowed to draw up an emergency supplementary budget plan and exercise the Presidential Emergency Finance Authority as soon as he is elected. He then harshly criticized Yoon sung yeol for causing security concerns with remarks on preemptive attack against North Korea and the additional deployment of THAAD missile systems.